Hello and welcome to Art Abandonment Adventures. Today is an art creation day. I will be working on the collection The Joy of Abandonment Series Number 5 Rainbow Artist Palettes. Step number one, prime the pieces. Using a white matte paint, I will be priming the tops, the inside of the front, and the sides. After all of the pieces are primed, I will let them completely dry before moving on to step number two, which is painting the base color. I am using a matte paint to paint the palettes. You'll notice I'm gonna paint the very top edge, then paint the inside components of each one of the palettes. When it came to finding these shapes, they actually had them at the Dollar Tree. I have seen where you can order them. Basically, they're for kids so that they won't mix their paints, but that you can dip out what they need at a time. They work really well for that and also for making a unique craft. Once I completely finish painting the pieces, I will let them dry completely before moving on to step number three, which is customization of the pieces. I basically did two customizations. The first was writing in words of positivity, like never ever give up, hope, peace, joy. Then I came back and used line detailing to put on the fronts and the sides and inside each one of the different panels.
After I finish customizing all the pieces, I'll let the paint dry completely before moving on to step four, which is finishing and signing the pieces. I used a black matte paint to cover the backs of the palettes. Then after the paint dried, I came back and wrote my signature, which is TS Art, and the abandonment year, which was 2019. After I finish painting the pieces and signing them, I let them completely dry before moving on to step number five, which is clear coat. I am using a spreadable clear that I put a little bit of sequins in, and the best way of doing this is clear coating the inside compartments then doing the tops and the sides, letting that dry, and then turning on the back and clear coating the back. After clearing all the pieces, I let the clear dry completely before moving on to step six, which was adding embellishments. I purchased most of the beads at a thrift store. That's what I like to do when it comes to actually using something that is a craft item. I'm not the initial person that bought them. I'm just making sure that something someone else bought doesn't end up in a landfill. I am using E6000 and if you'll notice I'm not using a lot of glue because it really doesn't require that. Um, just a small amount of glue will hold these round beads into place.
I did glue the beads into the individual compartments and after the glue dries I'm going to flip them over to do step number seven which is attaching the mat. Depending on the weights of the beads you might need to do more than two magnets. These are industrial strength and I am using the 6000. I had a little bit of difficulty getting these to stick on some of the abandonment sites and one of the things you have to be careful about you'll see that there are circles make sure the circles are either both pointing out or both pointing toward the piece because if you don't you mess up your ability to actually stick it onto metal So once the magnets are attached, the pieces are ready to be abandoned. I love hearing back from people who have found pieces of my art. If you have found a piece, you can send an email to the address on the business card. You can send a message to the Art Abandonment Group or leave a comment down below. Let me know where you found it and any special story connected to the piece. If you have liked what you've seen, push the like button, leave a comment, and follow. And as always, happy abandoning.